the movie preview critic informing and entertaining your movie world Like the Twilight Zone, you get the sense that this diner is almost like this metaphor for limbo. Because alongside of the diner is this highway, the road, the road of life. And these characters have come here because it's their final stop before either redemption or damnation. And the actions they take now are going to determine that. So will they be self-aware to say, you know what, I haven't led the greatest life, but I'm going to try to save this child, and as a result, I'm going to be redeemed. Or I'm too weak, and I'm going to give in to the evil, and I'm going to try to kill this child, and I'm going to be damned. This film doesn't do that for each character. We get kind of a sense here and there of what these people believe, but it doesn't really come together. That's because the characters have not been given a journey. Every single person has a journey in a movie, and the action, drama, and conflict impact every single character. If you're an actor, from the main character to just an extra, you need to have a motivation. There's that classic question, what's my motivation? In short, every character is a main character. Every character is in their own movie. So for each of these supporting characters, when it comes their time to die, let us feel the impact and let us feel that those deaths mean something and we know that, okay, this person's going to be damned, this person's going to be saved. Let's go with that all the way. Especially in the end, when Michael fights with Gabriel, is killed by him, then returns in some majestic redeemed form because he gave faith back to God and God rewarded him by giving him back his wings and saying, okay, you're right. And then Gabriel not learning his lesson. Let's see more of that. Let's explore what that means. One of my favorite redemptions ever is in Return of the Jedi, where Darth Vader says, Tell your sister you were right, that he could be saved. Luke saved his father. Awesome. So well done. Truly satisfying. We need to have that here. And especially with Charlie, the mother of the savior of humanity. She needs to be more developed as a character. And here's what I think about life. Here's what I think about God. Here's what we're doing as people. Explore these themes. Go for it. And in the end, she's got to be redeemed. There's this whole Mary and Joseph thing going on between Jeep and Charlie go with that a little bit more. It really is kind of funny how if you look back from a comedic kind of point of view of Joseph and Mary, it's like, okay, Joseph's this guy who likes his girl, who's supposedly a virgin, and one day she shows up pregnant, and she's like, uh, yeah, hey, and Joseph says, uh, okay, well, who's the dad? Uh, well, it's an immaculate conception. I'm a virgin still, and Joseph says, oh, yeah, yeah, sure, okay, but being a man, he mans up, and he's like, you know what? I still love you. I want to take care of you. I'm going to be the baby's daddy because I love you and I'll love that child as if it were my own. He stays with her. The same thing goes on here. And let us see Jeep's journey as well. So that's the main, main rewrite I would do with this. Give everyone a journey. Explain the rules of this universe. Give the angels a journey as well. But let us know the dynamics of what these zombie angels can and can't do. Major fault. And it really takes us out of the film. It gets us thinking about these questions too much. And in the end, the resolution is not satisfying because we don't feel these people have been through a journey. You're dealing with religious themes about the meaning of life and the end of the world. Go for it. Really do it. This film, you can tell that it's a first-time director and first-time writers in terms of the first work that they've sold and gotten produced and have credit for in that they weren't able to capture that. The pacing of the film is really off in that it opens with a pretty cool action scene. Then you get 15 minutes of this diner. Then there's this totally genre-busting, non-cliche, very inventive scene with a grandmother who turns into this zombie demon and attacks everyone. And you're like, oh, that's great. Then you get this scene later on with this little kid who's kind of like this Chucky with a knife coming after the pregnant Charlie, which also takes you by surprise. So there's these wonderful, inspired moments. There's also these goofy moments like the father of the teenage daughter who's there with his wife. He gets captured, and there's a scene where he's on an upside-down cross loaded with acid and the wife is strong enough to fight off three other characters and open the door. One of the things you don't do in a zombie movie is that whenever there's something outside that you love and you want to get to, you know it's dead or gone already or the zombies have it. Don't open the door and expose everyone in the house to that. Just accept it. Cry. Don't do the cliche thing. Haven't you seen a horror zombie movie at all? Don't you know what's going to happen? But of course she opens the door and then he explodes. We don't know why. It makes no sense. It's a horrible slow-mo shot at a weird angle. And Percy, the hook-handed cook, jumps over her and he gets acid poured on him and he dies. And it's a meaningless death. And it's such a cliche scene. 
Moments like that really just take you out of the movie. While it does have inspired moments, it falls into cliche more often than not. The characters aren't necessarily underdeveloped, but because it doesn't give every character a clear journey, and it fails to balance the pacing between action scenes and window character thematic scenes, which are perfectly represented by this one sequence where Michael tells Jeep the story of here's why I came down to Earth. And the very next scene, we get the visual of what he just explained verbally. If you just explained it, don't go to a flashback when you're in heaven with an army of angels talking to Gabriel about why you have to go down and help humanity. If you told Jeep in a really great dramatic moment, very well done, there's a lot of great dramatic acting going on. So I'm not going to knock it in terms of the between character writing, but just on an overall story structure, here's kind of where we hang things on the clothesline spine of the story, and here's how it all comes together, which goes back to kind of rookie mistakes in terms of the filmmaking here. With a couple more rewrites, more focus on Charlie as the main character, the journey of Michael and Gabriel, and the rules of the universe established, and giving everyone a journey, and having their deaths mean something, and finally, exploring not only the angelic universe and that rules, but what is being destroyed on earth? What has God lost faith with? What is it about what humanity has done? What is it about what we're focusing on? What have we forgotten about that God is so mad about that we deserve to be destroyed? Explore that. Say it out loud. It's an apocalyptic film. You're already bringing up religious ideas. Just go for it, man. Have some balls and go all the way, 100%. Don't try to play nice. Don't try to fall into... Don't pay attention to what other movies like Terminator, Prophecy, and Night of the Living Dead have done and that have worked well and made money in the past. Do something new and original. Take a risk. We're going to recognize it and we're going to reward you. That's all I think I have to say about this one. So, overall, I'm going to recommend this as a rental. It has an idea that is totally worthy of a regular price, but it fails to execute it properly, so it's unworthy of big screen viewing. See it as a rental, so you can pause it and say, that's a scene that had potential, and then go to the next scene and say, ah, that's where it fell back off track, and break it down that way. Much more enjoyable in your home, where you can stop it or go take a bathroom break if it gets too slow. And this is definitely a sign of the movie Apocalypse. It's an idea that had some potential, but for some reason the script was just written to that point where it was good enough, filmable, there were a couple images, a couple scenes you could put in the preview to entice us, and the real hard work in terms of developing the story was just ignored or forgotten about, and ultimately it took the easy way out. So it's great that it's an original idea, it's a spec screenplay, it's some new filmmakers who have some ambition, but it just didn't come together. And because of that, we have to vote that this hurts filmmaking more than it helps it. So that's all for now. Thanks for hanging out. Until next time, choose your movies wisely, and as always... Long live good movies!